We're talking to Dr. Madhu Parachuri, uh, who is at uh, Tennessee State University in the Department of Economics and Finance in the uh, School of uh, Business. And of course, uh, Dr. Parachuri, I think we indicated earlier that uh, what we wanted you to do was to uh, sort of give us some uh, data dealing with the uh, economic situation that we faced uh, as we talk about revisiting uh, this economic policy. Uh, if you look at the employment level, that's the best indication. We have been suffering with, right now, 9.7. However, if you go back to the Bush administration at the end, it was around 10.3%. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at that time, if we had not had a change in the administration, we would have been around 12% or so mm -hmm. of highly unemployment uh, mm -hmm. figure. Now, the, among these, mm -hmm. if you look at the data, uh, the adult men comprise of about 10% unemployed people. 10% okay. mm -hmm. out of a uh, little over 150 mm -hmm. uh, million people who okay. are in the job market. Mm -hmm. Now, among this, uh, uh, among men, All right. we said it's 10%, but what about women? Mm -hmm. Women's uh, unemployment rate is only 8%. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, when you look at the teenager unemployment, it is around 26.1 percent. Oh. It's more than a quarter. Every mm -hmm. other, teen, uh, every fourth teenager is, is, uh, was unemployed. Uh, uh, uh. No. And here again, if you look at the uh, breakdown of white and non-white, mm -hmm. or Asian, and that's a completely different picture. Mm -hmm. If you see, the national average is half of what the Mm. non-white unemployment rate okay. is. Mm -hmm. If you look at the white unemployment rate, mm -hmm. it is half of what the non-white unemployment mm -hmm. rate was. And among the Hispanics, mm -hmm. you would see 12.6% of them are unemployed. Mm -hmm. And among all these, only the Asians do better. They have only 7.5% of unemployment, unemployment rate. Mm -hmm. So here, when we take a look at the total picture, there are 15 million people who are without jobs. Job. Mm -hmm. Within that category, you would see that long-term unemployed people, mm -hmm. those people who have been unemployed for more than 27 weeks, okay. mm -hmm. if you look at that, there are 6.5 million people are in that category. Mm -hmm. And there is another a million people who are discouraged workers, we call. Mm -hmm. What is this discouraged workers? This is nothing but well, well skilled. Uh, Joe goes to find a job, mm -hmm. and he could not find it, yeah, he could, and he comes to the neighborhood mm -hmm. and talks uh, to the kids, mm -hmm. saying that he did not get the job. And so, what happens? Those other uh, kids who are trying to look for a job, mm -hmm. they don't even bother. So these are all discouraged workers. workers. <laughs> so that amount to about a million people. Mm -hmm. So here we see that many people, uh, just the long-term unemployed. Mm -hmm. And in this context, I must add, what the president uh, is going to do today or tomorrow, uh, the Congress approved a piece mm -hmm. of legislation to make sure that these people are going to be taken care of, yes, especially yes. those people who are unemployed for a longer period mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. the, there was a lot of opposition, uh, this uh, technical opposition or whatever they're trying mm -hmm. to do. It's mostly from the Republican Party, mm -hmm. where they tried to oppose that extension of the, mm -hmm. the, the, the compensation for these mm -hmm. unemployed people who have been unemployed for more than 27 years, mm -hmm. uh, 27 weeks. Uh, weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, it has been approved, thank heavens, mm -hmm. uh, and these people are going to uh, get benefits until uh, around June, first week or so. Mm -hmm. Now, the opposition came out and said, look, it's going to cost around $18 billion, roughly. Mm -hmm. Come up with some solution to pay the, uh, mm -hmm. pay off these bills. Mm -hmm. and some or other, the Democrats were able to push through mm -hmm. uh, the against all these opposition. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, 
if you look at the healthcare bill, for example, okay. none of the Republican senators or congressmen, who, you know, mm -hmm. supported the bill. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Everybody the, saw that. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody saw that, mm -hmm. and it's just a position just for the sake of a position mm -hmm. without any merit. Mm -hmm. Even some of those sympathetic to President Obama's plan mm -hmm. of, for health care, these people also, even though they were sympathetic because of the restrictions the party mm -hmm. must have imposed on them, they did not vote for this. Mm -hmm. So they, it barely moved through with a technical mm -hmm. way of handling to pass this kind of bill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Republicans have used so many times. And this is the first, this is the, one of the uh, uh, technique which uh, mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Senator Reid have mm -hmm. tried to push through and they were able, they were successful mm -hmm. and the president did not even hesitate to sign that yeah, as okay. soon mm -hmm. as you can by canceling even the foreign trip which he had planned long term mm -hmm. back. So what I'm trying to say is the present economic conditions mm -hmm. have improved a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me give you some indications. The inflation rate today is only 2.39 percent. It was a lot, lot higher okay. before. Then in other words, prices have come down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Not only that, the GDP growth, GDP is gross domestic product. Mm -hmm. That is the what the nation as a whole produced mm -hmm. and the, in terms of current dollar. Mm -hmm. The growth has been around 5.5 percent, which is a phenomenal growth. growth. Mm -hmm. We have been having economic growth of only 2% in a long period of time, nearly 30 years. And now we've got 5%. 5.5% 5 .5 economic, economic growth, growth rate mm -hmm. per GDP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the unemployment rate, as I said earlier. Uh, could you hold it right there, Dr. Perturi, at unemployment? Because yes. uh, what we'd like to do is to uh, end uh, this particular segment here. And when we come back with that next segment, we can talk specifically about uh, what you're about to talk about now. And that is the uh, unemployment, because I think that everything that you're talking about now is very, very optimistic, and it, it, it indicates the improvements that have gone on, but now we have to deal with this uh, issue of uh, unemployment, and we want to deal with that when we come back. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. We're talking to Dr. Madden.